We continue here in the Stampede as we're still in Los Angeles with the Buffs at the Rose Bowl against UCLA. Athletic Director Rick George joining us here for a couple of minutes. Kind of an interesting week last week as the strategic plan, the second mission of Rick's strategic plan at the University of Colorado was released. And right before I ask you kind of about the new direction, the new uh, emphasis you're going through, take us back to the last mission that you had. How close you came to hitting some of those goals that you well, laid out? You know, we overall we did about somewhere between 78 and 81 percent. You know, nice. hit our goals over a three-year period and. You know, we're proud of that. I mean, one of our key uh, focal points was getting our fiscal house in order. I think we did that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, even adding, um, you know, more debt to our books, you know, we've still been able to balance our budget each year in our, in our three-year, um, this past three-year mission. So that was important. You know, we wanted to um, create a world-class experience for our student athletes, and I think we did a, a lot of things. You know, we the full cost of attendance was something unlimited meals. We've added different resources to our academic support area. We've had our best uh, six semesters um, that we've had the last six semesters academically were outstanding. So we hit a lot of things that we targeted. We still want to win, compete for, and win more championships, right. and uh, we'll focus on that uh, moving forward. The idea of something like this, I mean, you do a lot of things individually looking at different aspects of the athletic department. Is the idea is to have a, 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 I guess, a focused vision of where things are going? Is that the idea behind it? Yeah, you know, every three years, you know, we'll, we'll look back at, at, at what we're doing. We, we spent a lot of time creating the, the next one, but when we created this first one, we wanted to make sure we had a long-term vision of where we wanted to go as an department this first three years was just to, just to put us in place for the next 12 and so um, you know we like I said I think we accomplished a lot we've got a lot to do uh, but I feel really good about uh, you know where we finished and now it's time to step it up a notch and, and we're going to do that over the next three years. We're still here in Los Angeles of course Buffalo's in UCLA athletic director Rick George you know the Buffs football team, not the only team that makes a road trip. The CU cheer team is also making the road trip as well, and we follow them around to find out what they're up to. It's a lot of fun to go on the road with the Buffs. We get to travel with the team, and it's fun to see a new environment, especially a big field like the Rose Bowl here. It's a lot of fun to see all the different Buffs come out from different places. We have great alumni, and it's always awesome to see them support the Buffs no matter where they are. It's great to travel with the team because we get to see all the traditions from the other spirit squads and see how we can make our traditions even better. It's really important for us to be at all the away games, to lead the crowd and show the Buffs that we're here to support them no matter where they are. Chip always makes things more interesting. He likes to play around with all of us, so we're on the crowd just like cheering on, like doing our thing, and Chip will come around, steal our palms, or do other silly things to us just to make us smile. He's really great to have around. Everyone loves Chip. Aside from the game, being on the road with my team is just really great. I really get a lot closer with all the girls, and these are some of my best friends. We spend so many hours together, so getting to travel with some of my best friends, too, is just so much fun. Well, the cheerleading squad having a good time here in Los Angeles. They're a big part of the college experience for a ball game, aren't they? You know, look, our, our spirit and dance squad, they're amazing. They put in so many hours. They work so hard. Um, they do a great job for us, and they represent us in such a great way. I'm glad they're out here. I'm glad they're having fun. And, um, you know, they do add a lot to the games and the competitions that we have. Well, we've been talking about, before we uh, heard about the cheerleaders, the strategic plan for the Buffaloes. All right, the new phase. Tell us about it. What are the focuses? Well, we're really going to uh, focus on the personal development of our student athletes. And, you know, we're going to invest more resources in the mental health piece of the health and wellness area. You know, we're continually looking at the nutrition area. We want to bolster up, even though we're doing a great job in our academic area. Um, you know, there's a lot of things, our nutrition area, there's still a lot of things that we need to do there. Uh, we're going to talk about our leadership development plan and what that looks like and how we can better prepare our student athletes um, to serve in the communities that they'll live in five, ten years down the road. So, you know, it's really going to be uh, student athlete focused and centered, and um, we'll spend a lot of time doing that over the next three years. Rick, you use that phrase all the time, a world-class experience for our student athletes. And that, that really focuses not just on the athletic aspect and getting them a degree it's much more than that isn't it it's much more than that it's yeah. it, you know we want them to be champions in life and we want them to be champions in our community and in a classroom athletically and and we've got to do more to help them with their personal development and i think through what we're trying to do in leadership development and some other areas that uh, we can really provide that world-class experience that's important to us i mean that's sure. why we come to work every day our job and our responsibility is to serve our student athletes and and i think our coaches and our staff do a great job in that and we're just 
going to step it up a notch. And the numbers from a graduation standpoint have been climbing the last few years. Yeah, they have. You know, all of our academic areas, Chris Livingston and the Herbst Academic staff, they do an amazing job. And um, and so, you know, what she does and what her staff does are really putting our student athletes on the path for success. Great stuff. Keep it up. Thank you. We will. All right. That's Athletic Director Rick George. As we continue here in the Stampede, last week was a great week for both the men's and women's golf team. We're going to talk some men's golf coming up next after this break.